Good evening and welcome to our public hearing this evening. Thank you for joining us. I am Paul Smedberg, the chair of the Board of, of WMATA Board of Directors. With me tonight is Jennifer Ellison, Metro's Board Corporate Secretary, Robin McElhaney, Arlington County's Transit Capital Program Manager, and Stephen Singerlin, the Director of Metro's Office of Real Estate and Station Area Planning, who will be giving tonight's presentation. This hearing is convened by the Metro Board of Directors to gather public comments on a proposed bus bay expansion at the East Falls Church Metro Station located in Arlington County, Virginia. Here is this evening's agenda. We will begin with some background information, then move to describing the proposed project, followed by an overview of the procedures for providing comments. We will then hear from uh, then we will then hear public comments and discuss next steps. The general plans and environmental evaluation for this project are available for inspection at a link on this presentation. Notice of this hearing was made by publication in the Washington Post, and ads were placed in the Arlington Connection, Falls Church News Press. Korean Times, Washington Chinese Daily News, El Tiempo Latino, and Washington Hispanic. And the docket was sent to all local governments and other organizations within the compact zone, as well as posted on WMATA.com. I will now call on Mr. Singerlin for the staff presentation. Thank you, Chair Smedberg. The purpose of the hearing tonight is to obtain public input on the following changes to the facilities at the East Falls Church Metro Station. These include increasing the bus loop capacity by three bays, relocating ADA parking, and narrowing the intersection width at the bus loop entrance. However, to start, let's recap the existing transit facilities at the East Falls Church Metro Station. On the north side of the Metro Station and I-66, there is a bus loop with four bus bays and a park and ride lot with 421 spaces that includes 11 ADA accessible spaces south side of the metro station and I-66, there is a kiss and ride lot with 33 spaces and of which three are ADA accessible spaces. As for the changes to the bus facilities, the project proposes increasing the number of bus bays from four to seven. This increase is needed to address congestion within the bus loop, resulting from the high volume of bus routes terminating and using this station, which creates an operational impact. The increase will help alleviate that congestion and also accommodate possible future increases in bus service. The changes to the bus facilities also include a narrowing of the pedestrian crossing at the bus loop entrance from about 150 feet down to around 35 feet. This will improve pedestrian safety and comfort accessing the station. Regarding the park and ride, there are changes needed to accommodate the bus bay expansion and improve the parking experience for ADA customers. These include relocating the ADA accessible parking spaces shown in blue closer to the station entrance. As for the overall access to the park and ride lot, it remains the same with entrances at 
Sycamore Street from the east and Washington Boulevard from the north. The total number of parking spaces within the Kiss and Ride lot remains unchanged. As part of the compact public hearing, WMATA has prepared an environmental evaluation for the project to assess the impacts to metro facilities, access to metro facilities, and the overall metro customer experience. This ident analysis identifies whether there are impacts to transportation, air quality, and noise as a result of the project. In its final built condition, the analysis indicates no permanent impacts to traffic, air quality, and noise. However, during construction, there will be vehicular and pedestrian circulation changes that will be uh, lead to a temporary disruption. This disruption will be minimized and mitigated through the use of a maintenance of traffic plan to reroute traffic when required. Also, during construction, there will be increased emissions from on-site equipment and increased truck traffic that could lead to dust. These externalities will be minimized and mitigated through dirt wetting, rinsing vehicles, and street sweeping. To minimize concerns with construction related noise, nighttime work will be minimized and noise control measures will be put in place. Metro will also monitor the noise levels as needed. This concludes my presentation on the project. I'll turn the floor back over to Chair Smedberg to go over the procedures for tonight's hearing. Thank you, Mr. Singerlin. Briefly, I will cover the procedures we will follow during the hearing. First, we'll hear from those who signed up in advance to provide testimony via video. Next, we'll go to the phone lines to take testimony from those who have called in. Elected public officials will be allowed five minutes and everyone else will be allowed three minutes each. Each time will be, uh, will be given for translation if needed. We ask that you stay within your allotted time to ensure that we can hear from everyone who wants to provide testimony. It is your opportunity to comment on the proposal and we are here to listen. So we won't be able to answer questions during your testimony. Before you begin your remarks, please state your name and the organization you represent, if any. Please note that all statements, including personal information, such as names, email addresses, addresses, telephone numbers you, that you provide in the statement are releasable to the public upon request and may be posted on WMATA's website without change, including any personal information provided. Further testimony will be submitted uh, or, or may be submitted and must be received by 5 p.m. on Monday, August 1st. Again, any further testimony uh, that you would like to submit must be received by 5 p.m. on Monday, August 1st. Testimony can be submitted online at wamada.com slash plans and projects. Online, you can either enter free form testimony or upload letters or other documents. You can also mail testimony to the Office of the Secretary, WMATA, 307th Street, Southwest, Washington, DC, 20024. Again, Office of the Secretary, WMATA, 307th Street, Southwest, Washington, DC, 20024. Please reference East Falls Church public hearing in the subject line. This, this testimony must be received, not postmarked by August 1st in order to be included in the hearing record. Your comments will become part of the public record that, that will be reviewed by the WMATA Board of Directors. 
changes to the proposed or to the project presented here tonight may be proposed in response to testimony received and subsequent staff analysis. I will note that this public hearing process is unable to address any comments outside the scope of this project. Those, conclude, uh, those include comments on land use matters, service complaints, and fares. Please note that profanity will not be tolerated during this public hearing. I would also ask that you mute yourself when you're not uh, speaking. And for those providing testimony that may be watching the hearing on another device, please make sure that device is muted when you're giving the testimony to avoid feedback. The public comment period will close on August 1st. Staff anticipates releasing the draft staff report to the WMATA website by mid-August. Once the staff report is released to the public, those of you who provided comments will have the opportunity to review the report to ensure that we captured your comments accurately. That review and comment period will close two weeks after the draft staff report is posted, bringing us close to the end of August. Staff anticipates that the final staff report and supplement will be submitted to the Board of Directors for acceptance in October. Now that we have all the background out of the way, it's time for our first witness. Um, our first comments come from Kate Burns. Ms. Burns, you could turn on your video and begin. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, thank you so much for having me and presenting the opportunity for comment. Um, my name is Kate Burns. I live in the area. I'm also a member of the Arlington County Transit Advisory Committee, and I am a user of the East Falls Church Metro Station. So I wanted to join today to provide testimony of support for this project. I think that uh, increasing capacity for buses and improving accessibility is an excellent thing to do and well worth um, any construction or financial advancement. A few things I wanted to um, highlight is that I think it would be great to add additional new mobility uh, parking spaces. Scooters have been parking, have been placed on uh, a street in the area. And along with bicycles, I think we're seeing an increase in scooters and it would be helpful to think of other mobility uh, storage for that. Um, I would also encourage anyone listening from the city of Falls Church to use this as a incentive to continue to improve sidewalk uh, accessibility as infrastructure and poles are often in the way uh, and sidewalks nearby the Metro station. Um, finally, I would like to observe that in the study from 2015, there is consideration for a pedestrian bridge and another interest, entrance to the Metro station that would go to Washington and Langston. And I would encourage WMATA to think boldly and push towards that piece of the study that is not being considered today, but for future development. Um, I think that there is a, a lot of opportunity in the area for economic development. It would connect a different um, area of residence as well, um, especially as we're improving the pedestrian experience and accessibility. So with that, I will conclude my comments. Thank you again for having me. And Ms. Burns, thank you. Are you speaking on behalf of the advisory board or just on behalf of yourself? Thank you for that clarification. It is just on behalf of myself. Okay. And when you say Washington, I assume you mean Washington Boulevard? Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you. thank you. Appreciate it. Next is Tony Harrelson. Ms. Harrelson, you would turn on your video. Um, my, name is Tony. Uh, my name is Tony Harrelson, and I'm a resident of the city of Falls Church. I use the East Falls Church bus loop to access multiple bus routes, including transferring to and from rail. Uh, first, I appreciate the project proposal prioritizes several accessibility features related to sidewalks and accessible parking, um, but it's also important that accessibility is viewed broadly. Um, an accessible bus loop must have adequate lighting. Um, I've used bus bay C at night and the closest light will often turn off and on while I'm waiting for the bus. And as someone who is hard of hearing, I rely on my vision to make up for what I'm unable to hear. So poor lighting can be a safety hazard for me. 
Um, adequate lighting is also important for people with mobility needs and blind and low vision individuals in order to navigate to and from the bus stops. Um, when I looked at the diagrams of the project, it wasn't clear to me where lighting will go because it's not labeled. Um, it's unclear what lighting upgrades are meant, um, but they're mentioned as one of the things listed for the project. And it's unclear what considerations have been taken to ensure appropriately lit bus stops for people with disabilities. Um, there also needs to be some consideration of how lighting interacts with the structures like the bus shelters in terms of casting shadows in certain areas. Um, right now, the inside of the bus shelters are often darker than the surrounding area at night. Um, so one thing that could be done is having bus shelters with lights inside them that can address this. Uh, it also helps people be able to read the information in the bus shelters. And lighting also makes the bus stops much more welcoming. And I think this is important as we're trying to increase ridership. Um, second, the new bus bays and shelters are, are very much needed. So I appreciate um, the additions of new ones. For example, bus bay C is used by three different bus lines and it's now uncommon for the buses to arrive at the same time. Um, this places drivers in a bad situation where they either have to wait or they have to pick up passengers in an unsafe way. Um, so when bus routes are assigned to the new bus base, uh, I encourage Ramada to think about their frequency and schedules when doing this. Um, but I think this is going to be a great improvement from what we have to experience as we're trying to transfer between buses at this bus loop. Um, so thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ms. Harrelson. Our final video commenter is Alistair Watson. Mr. Watson, you can turn on your camera. See Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson, I see you're online. Um, you would turn on your video. Mr. Watson. Okay, well, let's move on to those uh, who may be on the phone. Um, if you've indicated uh, that you want to speak as a reminder, if you're on the phone and you want to provide testimony, please push or press star three to put you into the speaker's queue. Again, press star three to be placed in the speaker's queue. Carol Smedberg, there is no one on the line. Okay, no one on the line. Um, can we see if we can uh, ping uh, Mr. Watson one last time to make sure he has an opportunity? I know he did sign up. Mr. Watson is can also- I see his camera is off, uh, Jose, uh, but is he, uh, and I don't see a microphone muted. Yeah, we need him to connect his audio. So if Mr. Watson, if you can please connect to your audio and then turn on your camera. Thank you. Okay, um, John and Jose, I think we'll move on. We can reach out to Mr. Uh, Watson to see if he has any written comments for us. Um, okay, uh, as a reminder, everyone, thank you for uh, joining us. Um, as a reminder, we'll be accepting written testimony until 5 p.m. on Monday, August 1st. T testimony can also be submitted online at WMATA dot com, W-M-A-T-A dot com forward slash plans and projects. And that's all one word, plans and projects, all one word. Testimony can also be sent by U.S. mail, again, to the office of the secretary, WMATA, 307th Street, Southwest, Washington, D.C., 20024. All mail testimony must be received not postmarked by 5 p.m. on August 1st.
Thank you again for participating in this evening's hearing. Good evening. Thank you.